Hello, and welcome to the GeoISD EduNews podcast. My name is Alan Tulpo, and I'm the superintendent of the Gogebic Ontonagan ISD and your host. This podcast features news and views about education in the Western Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Intermediate school districts in Michigan provide career and technical education programs, also known as CTE, to their local districts. CTE is a program of study that involves the integration of academic knowledge with technical and occupational knowledge. CTE provides students with a pathway to the post-secondary education and careers required in our global economy. All approved CTE programs in Michigan must align to their local curriculum, to post-secondary and industry standards. Students meeting the program standards have the opportunity to earn college credit and or certifications. The Gogebic Ontonagan ISD is proud to offer a variety of CTE programs to students in our region. And today, I'm excited to share information about our certified nursing assistant program with you. My guests for this episode are Ashley Nevins, Director of Career and Technical Education, and Amanda Sprague, our certified nursing assistant program instructor. Welcome to the podcast. Hello, thank you for having us today. Hello, thank you for having me. So I'll begin with Ashley. Um, Ashley, I know we're here today to discuss the Certified Nursing Assistant Program. But before we discuss the CNA program, what are the other programs in the GOISD CTE department? Well, we operate a CTE consortium that serves all six of our local school districts. And currently the CT programs offered include agriculture, which is food systems and plant science, automotive, business, CAD or mechanical drafting, construction trades, finance, health science, which includes our certified nursing assistant program and welding. And in addition to operating these programs, the CTE department also offers early college programming, work-based learning programming, and assistance with career awareness and exploration activities. All right, thank you. So as a small ISD, we are able to provide a rather comprehensive CTE program. Yes, I would agree. Okay, well, thank you for that information. And I'd like to begin with uh, Mrs. Sprague and uh, asking her to give us a general description of the type of work that a CNA performs. Yes, certified nursing assistants, um, or also known as CNAs, provide direct care to patients in hospitals, nursing homes, and home health care. As a vital part of a larger team, certified nursing assistants coming out of our class help patients with a wide range of basic needs, including eating, bathing, grooming, mobility, and many activities of daily living. Although a CNA is not a nurse, they work very closely um, with nurses, physicians, and other healthcare providers in our area. Becoming a CNA is a great pathway for students um, that want to start a career in healthcare, but may not be sure which career they, path they want to follow. Um, some may move, some of our students move on to more advanced levels of nursing, while others are satisfied with the many rewards that working as a CNA have to offer. Okay, thank you. And how long has the GOISD offered the CNA program? Our CNA program was started in 2008. Um, prior to that, we did have a general health occupations program that was started in the 1980s. Um, since 2008, our program has grown as far as the number of students we serve, the certifications we offer, and leadership opportunities provided for students. Yes, I've been the CNA instructor for the GOISD for 12 years. I took over the program when the big um, push from the state of Michigan was industry or industry certification so that kids could leave our program and were employable. Uh, we've added some additional certifications that students are able to earn in our program. 
um, students in our class are able to become American Heart Association um, certified in basic life support, which is a CPR specific to healthcare providers. Uh, the second year students that that join our program are afforded the opportunity to earn an extra certification in Alzheimer's and dementia training also. All very important certifications, especially the Alzheimer's and dementia training as unfortunately we're starting to see more of that across our uh, region. Oh, well, certainly it's a great credential, um, but it also makes students feel more comfortable in that environment. Great. Uh, where is the CT, where is the CNA program offered and how are students able to participate in it? It's offered in all for all of our six districts that we serve the locations of the labs um, and the instruction is at Gogiba Community College for our Bessemer Ironwood and Wakefield students and in Ewan. Um, we offer the program there to Ewan and Waters Meet students and then in the afternoon we offer our our lab and lecture in the Ontonagon CTE room. The clinical portion of our program is offered at Westgate in Ironwood and Gogibic Medical Care Facility in Wakefield. And both of those clinical um, locations welcome our students and are very good with them. And if students are interested in taking this program, um, they would register through their guidance counselor like they do all their other classes. Um, we will be inviting sophomores to visit and explore all CT programs this spring. And prior to 10th grade, we do try to create awareness for our younger students by partnering with um, grade levels on projects such as proper hand washing, hosting summer camps, and sharing of materials and videos. Um, so if students or parents are interested, um, or even um, teachers want to bring their classes in for a visit, um, I would highly encourage them to reach out um, and we can schedule a time to do so. So it seems like there's lots of opportunities for um, students and, and parents to learn more about getting involved with the CNA program. Absolutely. We've worked a lot with um, elementary schools, taking them to long-term care facilities. It's been a little bit more difficult the past couple of years because of COVID. Um, in terms of taking more people into long-term care than necessary, um, but we've partnered to do project-based learning with kids, um, hands-on like crafts and fun things, because as we know, elderly people love small children, um, and it's a lot of fun for them to see the little kids. So there is plenty of things that can be done. We've had parents who are in the healthcare field come in and do special projects or talk about their um, specific um, area of expertise in the healthcare field, and that's always helpful for the students. Wonderful, and those intergenerational activities are invaluable for, for both the elderly and our students. So thank you for making sure that happens in the programs. Absolutely. So um, what could a student expect when they, when they take a, a CNA course? What would a typical class day look like, and then what would students learn in the program? Sure, so each lab location is set up like a hospital room that you would see in one of our local nursing homes. Um, so we have lift beds, mannequins, wheelchairs, hand washing stations, and other equipment that is used to help prepare students for the real life setting. We have formed partnerships with our local businesses and have regular discussions about the type of equipment they use to help ensure that we're staying as up to date as possible. Um, the learning segments covered by this program um, include things such as information technology and healthcare, workplace safety, infection control, legal responsibilities and ethics, client status, and anatomy and physiology. Yes, we spend a lot of time in the classroom um, really getting acquainted to the equipment that kids are going to see at long-term care and, and honestly, a lot of tasks that they're going to be expected to be familiar with when they go into the facility. Um, our classroom is set up to replicate a residence room in long-term care. Hands-on learning is really what we try to um, replicate in the classroom, although we know there is textbook and there is learning and then there's real life when we get to the nursing home. Um, which is a good learning experience for students because 
we can't really teach that. Um, they have to be able to critically think and, and kind of be able to use common sense to be able to navigate some of those issues that come up at long-term care. Well, I know from firsthand experience from uh, visiting your classroom from time to time that you do put the kids through uh, a lot of different uh, situations that they could experience uh, when they're when they're working in uh, in a long term care facility or uh, a hospital setting. So um, I've learned something new every time I visited your room. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we do. I try to make it a lot of fun. And I always say you have to have kind of a sense of humor to be working in that environment, um, because it can be difficult and emotionally difficult for our students to see um, kind of what happens as we age. And um, so I always say that they come in, they come in kids and they leave young adults, um, they learn a lot going through that, even if they're never going to use it, I think it's a great experience for them. I agree. So we talked about some of the classroom experiences. Uh, what are the lab experiences for students at a, as a part of the program? For all state approved CT programs, students are learning via classroom instruction and lab experiences, um, but they also get the opportunity for work based learning and student leadership. Specifically for CNA students get opportunities throughout the year to visit our local nursing homes and lead crafts and other activities with the residents. We usually try to coordinate at least one or two industry tours and students will complete their week long clinical rotation at the end of the school year. The goal is to prepare students for their state test and ultimately earn their certified nursing assistant certification in the state of Michigan. Yes, as Mrs. Nevin stated, we complete 40 hours at long-term care. Um, this is a great opportunity for our students really to experience what it's like to work in long-term care facility. Many of our students, if nothing else, gain a whole new appreciation for the work that certified nursing assistants and nurses do after they complete their clinical rotation. Um, it's a great experience for them. They get assigned the first day, they'll get assigned one resident. Um, and by the end of the week, they're always with a partner. So I never have them alone. They're always with a classmate um, and they partner up and they'll take care of three or four people all by themselves by the end of our rotation, which is um, a really great accomplishment. You know, I, I can imagine that as, as a part of their rotation and, you know, the experiences that they have that they do mature quite a bit during that week, during those 40 hours as well. They do. I, I always um, tell Mrs. Nevins and her and I have had many conversations about the type of students that I get are, are phenomenal. Um, they do a great job. They are compassionate and they're empathetic and the residents will request them by name. Um, and there's many tears shed on Friday when we leave long-term care by residents um, and students because they, they gain an appreciation and really a relationship with them, people that they've served all week long. Um, and it's, it's really a neat experience. So do you have many students then, once they've completed the uh, um, CNA program, uh, move on to careers uh, in, in this field? Oh, yes. Um, I just had a conversation with some of the, the nursing assistants at a local facility. And during COVID, it was our students who were able to really show up and um, able to help them fill the gaps in schedules, whether it was for quarantine, um, sickness, um, and the lack of having a lot of workers in industry right now everywhere. Um, but these students are sought off the floor. Um, before we're even done, they're handed applications um, and they've done interviews on Friday afternoon and hire them right off the floor. And um, they're making a great wage and it's not about the money. We never sell the program about the money um, because it does take a special person to do this type of work, but it is good money for um, students. Uh, right now, I think they're making anywhere from 17 to $22 an hour right out of the program. That's wonderful. Yes, it is. It's a phenomenal experience. And we have great industry partners who really um, mentor our students and really help them fill those positions well. Uh, they have a long orientation period. So these young kids aren't just kind of, I would say, thrown to the wolves. Uh, they're really kind of, they're orientated and they're comfortable with their assignments before they're out on their own. 
So in terms of career opportunities, then, um, as they've gone through uh, the, the CNA program and, and they're looking toward their future, uh, what kind of career opportunities does this open up for students? Well, they, the program is a pathway really to any medical field that they want to go in. Um, but they can work in home health, they can work in the clinic, and many of them work at long-term care. Uh, a lot of our nursing assistants, the biggest percentage of them are working in local nursing homes because that's the biggest need. And when we are meeting with students, we share the career opportunities with them and what pathways they can follow by earning their CNA certification in high school. Obviously, um, like we've discussed, they can start working immediately with this certification. Um, but what I feel personally is just as important is the lifelong skills that students are learning, even if they decide that the medical field is not a good fit for them. Um, so in addition to earning their, their certification, such as CNA, CPR, first aid, they are also learning very important employability skills. Um, such as the ability to work with a team, the importance of showing up on time, the high level of responsibility needed to perform their job, as well as communication skills. And our CNA program is also a great starting point for students interested in continuing education in the medical field. Um, so maybe they want to go on to pursue their LPN, RN, or advanced medical degree. Um, we do partner with Gogibbet Community College for articulated credit and early college programming. By completing our CNA program, students can earn credits with Gogibbet Community College. By enrolling in the early college program, students can complete their LPN in just one year after high school at potentially no cost to the student or family. So again, I would highly encourage students or parents um, to reach out either to their local district guidance counselor or our office if they want to learn more about these opportunities. So there's a lot going on uh, with with the CNA program, um, not you know with the uh, um, opportunity for students to um, be engaged in their um, clinicals and um, care facilities, uh, the leadership activities that, that they get to do the crafting work and engaging with uh, um, residents of uh, nursing homes. Uh, it sounds like you have a lot to be proud of with, with the CNA program. What would you say the program's biggest point of pride is? I think at the beginning, uh, Mrs. Nevins did a great job of really just going over all the programs that we do offer. Um, I've gone downstate and it, it amazes me that in the western end of the UP we have all these programs because not all ISDs even downstate offer all these programs. Um, so we have a lot of great programs that we offer, but there's a few things that the CNA I think is a little bit different in terms of just helping people. Um, the students that are CNAs can expect to have a great deal of pride in the work that they are providing as, I mean, they're a positive force in our community and they're really helping a super vulnerable population by providing care to them. Um, and if I were to say, I think my students after they're done, they kind of reflect on what's really important in life and cherishing time with their family and really prioritizing their life as they they look at what it it looks like at the end of life when some elderly patients have no family um, or they have lots of family and how that looks in terms of maintaining and keeping relationships with people that we love and care about. Um, this, this program will teach them patience, um, lots of humility and really empathy. Um, and these are all character traits that I think would be beneficial for any student um, to be exposed to. I think the biggest point of pride for me is watching the students grow through this program, not only their growth academically, but personally. Um, I have witnessed students' confidence and patience as they're helping the residents, and it's no easy task for 17 and 18-year-old students to be placed in these settings um, and also passing their state certification. So that is a huge accomplishment and point of pride. And I have to say kudos to Mrs. Sprague as well. And I would say we really can't do any of it without the support of Mr. Topol and Mrs. Nevins. I mean, it really makes a team, it's a team effort. 
Well, it is a fantastic program. And, and like I said, every time I visit it, um, I'm impressed by it and learn something new. Um, I'm just amazed by, by the work that, that you do with your students. Well, thank you. Uh, finally, the, the last question of our uh, interview today, um, what is the need for this profession in our community? Well, um, just a couple of weeks ago, we had uh, a local facility in our classroom handing out applications and our kids aren't even quite certified yet. Um, our students are sought after uh, because they, they really have empathy and their ability, they work hard and they're compassionate. Um, they're super passionate about learning and they want to do better. Um, and that's really a great trait. Recruiting often, like I said before, takes place right on the floor as students are completing their clinical rotation. Students are identified as working well with patients or residents. And um, the HR person will literally ask if they can are interested in an interview or an application. And I already said uh, previously that they get paid well um, for a certificate program and they're they're sought off there after all over. Um, so their job placement is very high if they want that type of job. And it is important in CTE to conduct needs assessments to help determine if we are meeting the needs of our local industry and community, as well as our students and local school districts. Jobs in healthcare are on the rise in our region. Um, we are currently analyzing our CNA program to see if we should explore additional certifications, um, such as certified medical assistant or certifications in poblotomy um, to help better meet the needs of our local industry. To piggyback on what Mrs. Sprague said, our students are greatly sought after because of their skill level. Mrs. Sprague's program has a high certification rate where over 90% of her students have earned their certification each year. There has even been a year or two where 100% of her students completed the program and graduated high school with their CNA license. And that's, that's an amazing accomplishment for, for students to be able to have um, at that at that stage in their life, it's just uh, wonderful that they're able to do that. Well, thank you both uh, for being here today, uh, Mrs. Nevins and Mrs. Sprague, and, and for sharing uh, some some really great information about the GOISD Certified Nursing Assistant Program. Uh, and thank you to everybody for listening to this episode of the GOISD Edu News podcast. Our next episode will air on December 12, 2022, and will feature the work being done by the Gilgibic Ontonagan Great Start Collaborative. And remember, in the words of Garrison Keeler, nothing you do for children is ever wasted. <laughs>